In this video, I will talk about leukocytes and I will only focus on granulopoiesis. Leukocytes are one of cellular elements present in the blood. It has an important role in immunity inside the body. It circulates in the blood vessel with red blood cells and platelets. Then it migrates into the tissue where it performs its function in immunity. When blood sample is collected in a test tube, all cellular elements of the blood are precipitated by the action of gravity. And the upper part of the tube is the fluid part of the blood, which is called plasma. Centrifugation of the blood sample accelerates separation of cells from the fluid part. After centrifugation of the blood sample, it is separated into three layers. The first layer is the erythrocyte, which appeared in red color. The second layer is buffy coat layer and include leukocyte and platelets. The third layer is plasma, consists of water, electrolyte, proteins, and metabolites. Leukocytes differ from erythrocytes because it includes five subtypes of cells classified into two main categories. The first category is granulocyte, which includes three cells, which are neutrophil, basophil, and xenophil. The second category is a granulocyte, includes two cells, which are monocytes and lymphocytes. The difference between Two categories is the presence of the granules, which appear in different colors according to the type of the cell. Granulocytes contain granule, but a granulocyte does not contain any secondary granules. Indications for leukocytes examination Why leukocyte examination is important in the medical laboratory? Firstly, leukocytes are used as a routine physical examination to determine the effectiveness of the immune system. Also used as initial process for routine immunization or surgical procedure to assess the capability of the immune system to harden the vaccination or surgery. The third indication is confirming diagnosis, making prognosis, and selecting proper therapy. Therefore, leukocyte examination is important and is performed during complete blood count test which is performed by hematology analyzer. Formation of leukocyte is performed in bone marrow, especially red type bone marrow, which is present in specific places in bone where formation of blood cells occur in a process called hematopoiesis. Hematopoiesis is classified according to the type of the cell forming. Formation of erythrocyte is called erythropoiesis and formation of leukocyte is called leukopoiesis. Inside the bone marrow, the cells which generate all blood cells are called stem cells or hematopoietic stem cells which are present in bone marrow. A stem cell generates erythrocyte, leukocyte and thrombocyte by performing several divisions. Because as we know division of cells increase number of cells, then cell transformed to different blood cells. In the present figure, stem cell can be transformed to any type of the blood cell as erythrocyte, different type of leukocyte and thrombocyte. This is dependent on the stimulus that affects stem cell. For example, erythropoietin hormone stimulates stem cell to divide and finally transform it to red blood cells. Also, leukocyte and thrombocyte have specific stimulating factors. Stem cell initially divided into lymphoid stem cell and myeloid stem cell. Lymphoid stem cell produce different types of lymphocyte, while myeloid stem cell produce rest of blood cell, neutrophil, xenophil, basophil, monocyte, and thrombocyte, beside red blood cells. As I said, the whole process is called hematopoiesis. Then it is classified according to the type of cells into erythropoiesis, leukopoiesis, and thrombopoiesis. Then, leukopoiesis is subdivided into two types, granulopoiesis, which is the formation of granulocyte, and egranulopoiesis, which is formation of egranulocyte, and includes monopoiesis and lymphopoiesis. 
In this video, I will focus on granulopoiesis, which include formation of neutrophils, xenophils, and basophils. They are all contain granules in their cytoplasm, therefore called granulocytes. Granulopoiesis from stem cell to mature cells take many steps and long period inside the bone marrow. We divide granulopoiesis into two main processes. First one is the division step to increase number of cells, which is called proliferation. After each division, the shape of the cell, either size and content, is changed so that it takes a different name. The first cell is called myeloblast, then bromyelocyte, then myelocytes, which is consisted of three types. All these cells formed by division, so that this stage is called mitotic phase, which lead to proliferation of cell or increase its number. Then the second phase is called maturation phase, where division stops and maturation of cells occur, and also maturation causes changes in the size of the cell and their content. Therefore, cells take different names. These cells include metamyelocytes, band cells, and mature neutrophils, which is called segmented neutrophils. Then, segmented mature neutrophil migrates from the bone marrow to bloodstream, where it can perform its function. This video will illustrate granulopoiesis. At the beginning, the stimulus, which appeared in red color, reached to the stem cell. Therefore, a number of division occurred to increase number of cells, which is called proliferation. Then, maturation process occurred. The shape of the nucleus changed and appearance of secondary granules in the cytoplasm. After that, when the cell reached maturity, mature segmented neutrophil released from bone marrow to bloodstream and perform its role in immune. During maturation process, the morphology of cell changed gradually from myeloblast to segmented mature neutrophy. The size of cell decreases. Immature cells is large, while mature cells is small due to several divisions that occur. Also, the nucleus is changed. Firstly, nucleus is pale in color in myeloblast as the nucleus is active in mitotic division. Then, chromatin gradually aggregated especially when division stops. Therefore, the color of the nucleus become more intense, especially mature segmented neutrophy. Also, size and the shape of nucleus changed from round form to U-shape in band cells, then become segmented in mature cells. Mature segmented neutrophil contain from 3 to 5 loops. Also, cytoplasm is changed during granulopoiesis. Initially, cytoplasm contains primary granules called azorophilic granules. Then, it disappeared and secondary granules appear in the cytoplasm. The secondary granule in neutrophil is called neutrophilic granule, in basophil called basophilic granules, and in xenophil called xenophilic granules. The present cell is neutrophils contain neutrophilic granules appear as grayish to pink color. Due to many steps occurred in granulopoiesis, it takes about 7 to 10 days to complete granulopoiesis and mature segmented neutrophil migrate to the bloodstream. Regulation of granulopoiesis It occurred by chemical factor secreted by T lymphocyte and macrophages and also bone marrow stromal cells. These chemical called colon stimulating factors, abbreviated as CSF. It includes granulocyte stimulating factor, monocyte stimulating factor, and granulocyte monocyte colon stimulating factor. Also, interleukin 3 stimulate granulopoiesis. Finally, this is a reminder for the important point in this video. What is granulopoiesis? Granulopoiesis is the formation of neutrophil, xenophil, and pesophils. What is the site of granulopoiesis? The site of granulopoiesis is red bone marrow. What is the stimulus of granulopoiesis? The stimulus is colon stimulating factor, mainly granulocyte colon stimulating factor. 
how long granular pieces takes it takes from 7 to 10 days to complete granular pieces inside zipcon marrow